Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's episode, we will make a confetti particle system and this is how it will look like. So, let's get started. First of all, let me open a new scene. And uh, now, what we will do is, we will make a new particle system. And uh, first of all, we have to flip the particle system. First of all, reset it. And now, uh, flip it to 90 degree on x-axis. After that, drag it a little bit above and also uh, zoom out your main camera a little bit so you can see it. Now, click on your particle system. Uh, first of all, we need a shape for our particle system. so. Uh, we will make a new sprite square sprite let it be square after that go to your particle system let's re rename it to confetti underscore particle system after that we'll go to renderer we will choose mesh from here we will choose plane and in the material we will put square after that we have to resize our particle system so uh, use 3d start size choose random between two constant let's choose 0.01 to 0.2 uh, our particle system will be of different shapes and lengths so it can be square and rectangle let's change the other values as well after that click on 3d start rotation or we can leave it here we will change it in this section rotation over lifetime we can choose the speed between random between two constant and it will be 3 and 9. After that, we will change the emission to something like 70. And uh, it's not in shape right now. So we will use box. Let's resize it use this one and resize your box no not like this but like this on the x and the z axis so let's resize it on our x and z axis after that uh, what we will do we will change its color for color in the start color we will choose random color here in the gradient we will choose multiple color and it will randomly pick the color from them so first will be white second will be red yellow green pink purple and blue so we have colored our confetti but it's still not looking good because it is not uh, in any rotation it doesn't have any rotation so let's add some rotation to our confetti click on rotation over lifetime we will choose separate axis and also random between two constants the starting angle will be 45 and ending will be 180 keep the same values on all three axes and now you can see it's looking much better but uh, i think it's too much cluttered so let's increase the size a little bit more increase the size on x and z axis uh, let's zoom out the main camera a little bit more so now we can see that our confetti is looking much much better and uh, 
If we want it to die after it hits the ground, we can do something like this. That, uh, make a new plane, 3D object, plane. Let's uh, increase its size to something like uh, this. Reset its values. It's still very small. Now it's better, but it's above the ground. No, it's not above the ground. Our camera is very below. Zoom it up a little bit more. A little bit more. Is the confetti a little bit like this? Now it's looking better. Let me turn off the camera, turn off the skybox so you can see it better. Now, as you can see, the confetti is passing from the ground, so let's add a trigger to it so it will die whenever it will cross the ground. So click on triggers in the colliders at this plane and from here inside click on ignore and on exit click on kill now our confetti is dying whenever it hits the ground so that was all for this video if you enjoyed the video make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our youtube channel for more videos we will see you in the next video goodbye